Hi, my name is Dominic Street, and today we're going to be looking at a brief overview of a couple ways to look at your data in IntelliMagic Vision. In IntelliMagic Vision, there are two ways you can navigate to the data that you're interested in. One is a general, non-vendor specific way, and another one is the vendor specific way. So let's say we wanted to look at I.O. performance. These are our viewpoints. We can click on Disk Performance, and then we can go to Performance Overview and look at Overall I.O. Workload and then click on any one of these charts to get what we want. Then we can see all of our various controllers, arrays that we have. We can compare the I.O. over whatever period of time we're looking at. We can also drill down and look at other variables, and that's a view of all of our controllers and arrays independent of what the vendor might be. That way we can compare and see which controller is more heavily utilized or which is faster or slower. We also have vendor-specific views. These are found under the viewpoint Hardware Platforms, and the focal point is the EMC VMX family. And we want an overview of this dashboard. Here, we have several sets that we can look at when conducting a performance analysis. Clicking on dashboards, which is like an instant health check for your environment, you can see key metrics and what they're rated. You can compare the intensity of what each thing is rated with the bubbles here. And if you hover over them, you can get a quick view of what each of these is rated and a description of what it is. These dashboards are great for directing your attention to problem areas first. A green bubble means that most or all of the intervals calculated in this metric are below the acceptable threshold. Yellow means that some of the metrics are above the recommended threshold, and this is a warning. And red is an exception, which means that most or all of the intervals in the calculated metric are above the acceptable threshold. The next set is configuration, which is capacity information. Hardware types, cache size, number of drives, capacity, and more. You can drill down to storage pools here too. The third set is service statistics. Here, we look at statistics from a service level agreement point of view, and you can see what percentage of time you're fulfilling your SLAs. Looking at this front end chart, we can see that out of 100% of the time, there was this amount of time in the red, this amount of time in the yellow, and this amount of time in the green. This gives you an idea if you want to look at a particular resource. How often are you meeting your SLA and how often are you not? You can drill down and investigate that way. Next is the balance set. Balance reports lets us look at all of our resources and see how they're balanced. For example, this drive busy chart, the yellow is the min and the max. The green ball in the middle of the green square is the average and the green square represents the 10th and 90th percentiles. And when you click on it, you can look over your SPs and see how the utilization is. Moving on to masking views, here we look at the data based on the masking view point of view. For example, I.O. rate shows you the top 20 of your masking views, but you can change this chart to look at the top 10, the top 30, whatever you want. It just defaults to the top 20. You can drill down from here, and there are other videos covering these drill downs in further detail. This is just an overview. Next is storage groups. You can click on the IRO rate chart here, click on one of the controllers, and drill down to the top 30 volumes. Then we have sets that look at it from the front end perspective. We have a set for the back end, and there's also a set for the SRDF to look at if you're using SRDF. You can look at it and see the status of how it's doing, the speed, the configuration, the lag time, and other variables you may be interested in. That's a basic overview of our VMAX viewpoint. So, in conclusion, there's two ways to look at data in IntelliMagic Vision. You can look at all of them, no matter what the vendor is, using the same metric, or you can look at it through a vendor-specific set of dashboards like the EMC VMAX family we discussed. 